Yo, yo, Libra, what's up? What's the crack? I hope you're very well. My name is Madam Butterfly, and this is going to be a new love reading for December. Uh, but it is a timeless reading, Libra, you know, so whenever you happen to catch it is when you are meant to see it. Thank you very, very much for taking the time to check out the reading. I really appreciate it. And if you find the reading resonates with you, Libra, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate that a lot. And um, yeah, so new love. This can be someone that you've not met yet, someone you already know, and you're kind of waiting to see what's up with them, how it's going to go. Maybe someone you're in separation with. Someone you've not had a relationship with yet, though, you know, is a new love reading. All right, Spirit, what's up? What do you want Libra to know about this new love coming in? Okay, <laughs> King of Wands. Okay. This person is um, very, very focused on you, Libra. King of Wands. Um, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but they're very, very focused on you. They're quite a fiery energy, regardless of their sign. Because, you know, they could have risings, they, you know. Um, they could just be a very fiery personality. It could just be that you specifically provoke a lot of fire in this person and passion because they are hella focused on you. If you've not met this person yet, it's very likely this person will approach you first or they will see you first. Hold on a second, Libra. Sorry, I just had to turn the music down a little bit. I just felt like it was a bit loud. Um, yeah, this person may very well notice you first, okay? They could be someone that owns their own business or they could be like a manager, something like this. Um, they're quite charismatic, whoever they are. Like, this person has a lot of sex appeal. They're usually pretty good looking. Excuse me, Libra, King of Wands energy is usually pretty good looking. They are very, like I said, very, very focused on you. Lots and lots of passion for you. <laughs> okay, they could definitely, because what I was going to actually talk about the Ten of Wands and the bottom of the, the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. If you've had a rough ending in your life recently, this person's coming in to take your mind off it, okay? You have the Emperor at the bottom of the deck, so it could definitely be an Aries. Um, there could be an age difference, or this person could just be very, very mature. You know, either you're older than them or they're older than you. But they're very mature. This person's, they're going to be very loyal. King of Wands and the Emperor, this is a very loyal energy coming in. They will expect loyalty in return. Um, very successful in whatever it is they do. There's something about this person that probably commands a certain amount of respect, you know, even if they're not very loud. This per they're quite organized, quite structured, this person. They could, or if it's a guy you're dealing with, they could already be a dad. All right, what else, please? Four of Wands, this is what they think about with you. This is what this person's envisioning with you, the Four of Wands. Commitment, stability, trying to manifest this with you. Long-term commitment, marriage, children. Wheel of Fortune, they could be a Sagittarius. Lots of fiery energy in this reading. King of Pentacles, wow. 
You have three cards on the table. You have two kings and a major arcana. This person is coming in to change shit up for you. <laughs> um, Wheel of Fortune, this, it, you, you know, it's a fated connection when you're getting the Wheel of Fortune. Fated connection. They may surprise you, they may kind of pop into your life kind of suddenly, like a bit out of nowhere with the Wheel of Fortune, because the Wheel of Fortune is things suddenly changing. So some of you, you may have been involved in the past in a third party situation. You might have got cheated on um, with this Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. I feel like for some of you there was a tough ending, but it's like this person just suddenly enters your life and suddenly you're not thinking so much about that past ending anymore, you know what I mean? King of Pentacles, they could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. They're very stable. This person's definitely looking for commitment. Very protective energy. Um, you know, very kind of family oriented. Like they probably do a lot of, I don't know, they're probably someone in their family that has a lot of responsibility. And I'm not talking about like within their immediate family. I mean, like brothers and sisters and parents and aunts and things like that, you know? I don't know if that's immediate family. I was thinking more about children. Like, obviously you do things for your children, you know what I mean? But, um, or your wife or your husband, but, well, hopefully this person doesn't have a wife or a husband, but yeah, King of Pentacles energy, like, very responsible. Very, very responsible, very grounded person. Very protective. This person has some kind of desire to protect you. Page of Wands. I'm not going to take those because I feel like they just fell out of the deck. Even though they were nice cards. Okay, and the Two of Cups. So this person is... Um, I don't know, they might be younger than you. Page of Wands here, Two of Cups. So they're quite sprightly. It's quite a sprightly kind of person with the Page of Wands. Um, they're quite a youthful energy. They're a nice mixture here because they're very, I feel this person is very successful and very mature, but they also have this like nice childlike quality where Things are going to feel very fresh and new with this person, you know? Like they have this nice balance of being responsible, but like I said, also like they know how to play and have fun, whilst at the same time not letting everything crumble around them, you know what I mean? Um, page of Wands with the Two of Cups. You're going to be very excited by this person's presence. They're, you know, probably quite creative. Probably quite a creative energy. They could be a Sagittarius. More, there's a lot of fire energy in this reading. Um, they're a curious person, you know. Like they're very driven to kind of discover things, and like maybe they they might quite like traveling. This person, finding out new things. They're going to bring a lot of excitement into your world. And two of cups. I mean, this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate energy coming in now. And they're coming towards you. They feel very guided towards you. Like, you know, with the moon here, they f I, f I feel like this person's kind of mostly going on instinct with this situation with you because they do feel very drawn to you. And it is because you're a soulmate energy. Two of Cups. You know, you're going to feel very at home with this person very quickly. Like, the conversations are going to be very good. You're going to feel very comfortable with this person because with the Two of Cups, like I said, it is, it's, a, it's that soulmate connection. Like it's so much, you know, nothing can compare to a soulmate connection because it's like, it's like meeting up with an old friend. Even when you just meet this person for the first time, like you just find it flows very easily with this type of energy. 
you know and it's almost like when you're apart you're just kind of thinking like you're both kind of thinking like we should just be together you know like I really miss this person <clears throat> even if you're because I mean I don't think I don't know if you're one of those people that doesn't really miss other people that much you're gonna miss this person you know it's that type of energy Ace of Cups, yeah, this person is, oh my god, fixated on you. You are this person's wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups. And I just saw the Four of Wands again. So this person's like, I feel like this person falls in love with you very, very quickly, Libra. Very, very quickly. Because they feel the same about you. It's like that you've just, they've just been kind of handed this gift on a platter from the universe. Um, is that shimmering in the light? It's blinding me. I hope it's not blinding you guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're going to fall for you very, very quickly. They might not give this all away immediately, you know. Because this person's very charming, so they'll probably charm the, you know, well, not charm the pants off you, hopefully, but, um, you know, they will charm you, but their feelings go a lot deeper than they show you, is what I want to say with this person. And it's very, very pure. Like, you know, you might think this person just has a silver tongue, but it's way deeper than that, like, because they have a very deep affection and love for you. They feel like they've been guided towards you. What else, please? What else about this person coming in for Libra? Knight of Cups. Oh my god, the Ten of Cups. Holy shit balls. And you have the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person's going to take a lot of the burden off your shoulders about something. Um, I feel like there's quite a heavy... You're carrying something heavy from something from your past. But this person's kind of here, not that they're going to solve all your problems, of course, it's just that they're going to make the transition from your past to, the, to them very easy. Because they're quite a forceful energy, this person, like they know what they want. Um, they're very grounded, you know, there's, there's no drama with this person. They're just going to basically just make your life fun again, you know? They're very supportive. Whoever this person is, they're going to be very supportive of you. And you have this Wheel of Fortune here with this Eight of Cups. So this person, they feel drawn towards you. Um, it's almost like an instinctual draw, like an instinctual pull towards you. You guys might live a little far apart, you know, you might live across water from this person. And you have the King of Pentacles here with the Page of Swords.
this person's aware that you've left something behind. There's a very protective vibe coming off that page of swords. Like they're aware that you've left something behind. Um, this person could also have left something behind. But it's, it's like a very, with the page of swords here, it's like a very kind of I've got your back type energy. It's almost like they're looking out for you. You know what I mean? And they're kind of waiting for you to, to catch up is what I want to say. <clears throat> because um, you're leaving something behind to come towards them and it's like, they're kind of like, come on, <laughs> like, are you ready yet? Come on, let's go, let's go. See, like, the, the these came out together. See, it's like the page is looking back into the Eight of Cups, like, come on, let's go. We've got stuff to do, come on. <laughs> come on. Why are you dragging your feet? But they're very protective. Um, for want of a better word, like this person's, they've got a lot of like, I don't know, pizzazz, like spunk. They're quite spunky, you know, like um, they've got a lot of fire. They've got a lot of fight in them, this person. There's almost an energy with this person of like, I'll look after you. I'll, you know, don't, don't you be saying things about my Libra. You know, you, you want to you wanna get a Libra, you're going to have to come through me. It's this kind of energy. They're very protective. Um... Page of Wands here with the page of uh, the Knight of Cups, sorry. So you may have already had a message from this person that was quite kind of... Um, I think this person's going to make it... They're not going to make it obvious that they're in love with you because they are, but they're going to make it obvious, kind of obvious that they're into you in some way, okay? I would say, which is what you want, right? Page of Wands with the Knight of Cups. Um, but they have this like nice combat, yeah, you're really going to be, because this person has no guile, really, <laughs> like they're quite protective and stuff, but I feel like they, it all comes from this place of like, kind of what you see is what you get with this person. Um, like the, the Knight of Cups energy, they're very open, they're very honest, they might wear their heart on their sleeve a bit, you know? Not as much as the Page of Cups, you know, they're going to keep something back. But um, this person is not going to play you. This is not player energy. This is just somebody very sweet, very youthful, very excited. They're very excited about this connection with you, Libra. And you have the Two of Cups here with the Ten of Cups. Look at that shit. <laughs> Two of Cups with the Ten of Cups. So this person has the capacity, if you will let them, Libra, to make you, to really knock your socks off, like to make you really, really happy. You know, the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups, like you're meant to be with this person. You are meant to be with them, you know, it's like two people that could really could not be better suited to each other. You know, the Ten of Cups is like total emotional fulfillment, as is the Two of Cups. It's like you hit each other's buttons, like you hit each other's targets, you know. Same sense of humor. You want the same things out of life. You both want to be happy. You both have like an equal capacity for love, you know. Um, you're both ready to exchange the same amount of love. You're going to be very attracted to this person, you know. If you're looking for kids and marriage, this person is also looking for marriage and kids. They're in it for the real deal, you know what I mean? This person's like, they, they're they ready. Um, there's some, I see a little bit of defensiveness here on your part. And it's, you've kind of been in hermit mode, I think, a little bit. Like a bit of sadness. You know, maybe not been feeling that great recently for some of you. You've been carrying around some kind of burden from your past that's really knocked your confidence with that Nine of Pentacles. Something happened with someone from your past that's really knocked your confidence, you know. But this person's here to help you feel better. <laughs> we'll put it that way. Um, they're really very... Um, I want to say, I didn't want to say persistent, but it came out, so persistent, but um, 
they're just so laser focused on you and it is it's just like I'll fight for you I'll look after you male or female you know it's a lovely energy it really is um so I'm gonna do an extended reading for this Libra which I'm gonna go into in the extended I'm gonna talk more about your person how they feel about you oh yeah that's what I wanted to do I'm gonna pull See, I don't think I need to actually. I was going to pull a card for the outcome, but I really don't, I don't think I need to with the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups here because that is your outcome. Union and happy ever after with this person. You know, if you let them in, if you want this person in your life, they have the capacity to give you everything you ever wanted really in terms of love. Unless you're one of those people that just wants drama, in which case, just get out of here, because <laughs> nobody's got time for that shit. Um, yeah, no, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, that's your outcome there, the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, I'll, I'll, if you're interested in the extended, I'll tell you more about it in a minute. But I just want to do, that's too many spirit. Um, one oracle card to close the reading Libra. So this can be about anything in your life, doesn't have to be about love. So what would you like Libra to know, please, Spirit? is selfless they are really selfless they really are this person would do anything for you they're gonna be like your little bodyguard <laughs> um, you have spider I've not and um, this is a pretty new deck I've not even seen this one yet so you have spider uh, number three but spiders are always um, something nice I think in spirituality for some reason even though they're so hideous Number three, single, yeah, oh my god, single-minded, persistent, skillful, diligent. So this is the person that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, that's interesting that I said persistent earlier when I wasn't going to say it. So this person is very persistent, um, probably in terms of this connection with you, Libra, but I think in terms of everything in their life, because King of Wands, King of Pentacles, very persistent energy, you know, someone, they're successful, this is a successful person, um, single-minded, yeah, especially in terms of you at the moment, or, you know, when you meet this person, like, they're going to be very, very focused on you, how to get you, uh, yeah, they're very skillful, very diligent as well, very diligent energy, so, yeah, this person is like laser focused on you, Libra. <laughs> the question is, are you going to let them in? Um, so I'm going to jump into the extended. Thank you. If, you, you know, if you're not following me to the extended, Libra, thank you very much for taking the time to watch the reading. I hope it resonated with you. Um, excuse me. If it did resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I would appreciate that a lot. Take care, Libra, and lots of love. And if you would like to watch the extended, um, there's a link in the description box underneath the video. Um, but I don't host on Vimeo, so I host on YouTube. So um, if you click the join button underneath the video, YouTube will tell you what to do from there. It might only be visible on a laptop or a mobile phone. I'm not sure if it's visible on iPads. It's £3 a month to join, but... I mean, you can just watch the extended and cancel if you want to, but for the three pounds a month, you get access to any extended I do within the month or the past extended, so, you know. Um, so if I see you over there, awesome Libra, looking forward to it. If not, take care, lots of love and light. Bye.